Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. Uh, I just want to start off by saying there is absolutely zero shame in believing in Bigfoot. Uh, I, I There's a lot of people out there who think it's crazy. People who actually believe in UFOs, but they don't believe in Bigfoot. Um, you know, recently I did a video probably about a week ago on my YouTube channel where I uh, th there was some new enhanced footage uh, of the famous uh, Patterson-Gimlin footage from 1967 that was uh, taken in northern California by Roger Pat the late Roger Patterson and uh, Bob Gimlin. Uh, they found a Bigfoot, of course. A lot of people know about this story, and they filmed. Uh, they were actually searching for evidence of Bigfoot, and they were able to, uh, and Patterson was able to capture uh, about a minute's worth of footage of uh, uh, of an apparent female Sasquatch uh, walking away from him. However, um, I posted this video. I actually had seen uh, 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 the History Channel has a show on there called "The Proof Is Out There." And they had an episode about uh, about this footage, and they they digitally enhanced it, and it and uh, it really brought out a lot of details. I mean, you could see muscle movement in the legs, you could see the the bend in the toes on, on this thing. Uh, I I just think after seeing that, I mean, you could see muscle movement, in, in, you could see the breasts on the thing bouncing around. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, the the the, the details that were now visible in this newly uh, enhanced uh, version of it. I've seen other enhanced versions of it too over the years that were pretty good also. But as far as I'm concerned, I think this proves that this thing exists. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of different people over the years who, who've claimed uh, to see one. And uh, I, now personally, I've never had an experience. I would have loved, I'd love to have an experience of, you know, seeing one of these things. Of course, uh, I'd probably be, uh, it would probably be the same thing would that would happen to me that happens to everybody else. So we they, we just don't believe you. But anyway, one of the com I received this, some comments on this uh, on my YouTube channel, and I received a comment from one of my uh, subscribers actually named uh, Bearded Soy Boy, and uh, he said that uh, you, you can't expect people to take you seriously when you're saying Bigfoot is real, dude. Not how it works. You fall into the conspiracy nut. When you think Bigfoot is real, well, I, I, I just, I don't agree with that. I, <laughs> I just don't agree with that. I, I mean, uh, I, actually, I responded uh, to this comment. I wrote, although I've personally never encountered a Bigfoot, I know somebody who did, and his story was very credible. Additionally, there are some scientists now who believe Bigfoot is real. I encourage you to check out the History Channel documentary on this subject. I have the link listed in the description for that video. Also, I'd like to point out that there is no conspiracy with regard to Bigfoot. There is no government interest, and there would be no reason for any entity to cover up the reality of its existence. As for other conspiracies outside of the extraterrestrial reality, I do not believe in any of them. Uh, anyhow, that's the gist of my of my comment that I uh, provided back to... Uh, bearded soy boy and anyway I, I will leave the link for that video uh on here for my podcast subscribers and um uh, you know again i i just don't think uh, I, I there's nothing crazy about bigfoot I, I remember i guess about a year ago or so i remember seeing uh you know joe rogan on his show saying he, he felt embarrassed because at one time he, he believed in bigfoot and i guess now you know he finally woke up and he thinks it's complete nonsense now i don't know why I mean, I, I just don't see why. I mean, there's just, there's, there's, you know, there's so much unexplored wilderness out there and, and areas, especially in the Pacific Northwest of, of the United States and, and, in, uh, and, and, and further north in Canada that's just unexplored where just people don't go where these things could hang out. I mean, these things could live. I mean, if, you know, I don't, if they are, I, I believe that they are, they do exist. And if obviously there's, there's probably not that many. And, and plus, I really believe that they're extremely, you know, they, they just, they have an ability to, 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 to stay away, to, to, to keep themselves anonymous. I mean, they just have a, uh, an, an, an incredible ability to uh, camouflage themselves for the most part. I mean, fr from the rest of the world, from, from human beings. But uh, I remember uh, back in the late 90s, it was actually uh, 1999, there was uh, <clears throat> a guy that I interviewed for a newspaper article. And uh, actually it was somebody, for years my one friend used to tell me that he had an uncle who had seen uh, Bigfoot back in the 70s. And uh, and I, I wanted to hear this story. I, I thought it would be a great idea to, to contact this guy and do an article for the 
uh, for the newspaper I was working at. It was at, I was working at the Hazleton Standard Speaker at the time. And uh, so I called this guy up, and, and he, he was very reluctant. I told him, I said, I was very interested in, in you know, doing a recounting of your experience with this, uh, with this Bigfoot creature that you saw back in 75. Uh, and uh, he was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to do that. But in, in, I kept on talking to him, and finally, basically, I convinced him that, uh, you know, why not? You know, just let's do it, you know. So he actually took me to the site where he saw it. It was in this small, uh, it was in a, a, a private property owned by uh, a municipal water authority. There was a reservoir over there, and it was in the woods uh, near Shenandoah, Pennsylvania, in, in, a, a town, in a little town right outside of Yatesville, and uh, it was all these dirt roads that you, you can't drive a car on. But anyway, he told me the story. Back in 1975, he had uh, purchased uh, a, a new dirt bike. He was a teenager at the time, and he wanted to take this dirt bike out for a ride. But after, right after he bought it, it was raining, and it rained for a few days, so he couldn't take it out. And then finally on the weekend, uh, you know, it, it stopped raining, so he was finally able to get out on the road with this motorcycle. So, or on a dirt bike, rather. And so he, he, he uh, was driving through these uh, dirt roads on this uh, municipal water authority property. And uh, he drove through, you know, still a lot of puddles and stuff from the rain that lasted for a few days. And he drove into a big puddle and it stalled out his motorcycle. So he's trying to kickstart it back into life. And it was, you know, it was taken and tight. It wasn't working right away because it was all wet, I guess. And then he said he heard footsteps. And in his mind... The footsteps, he, he was thinking it was going to be some ranger or somebody saying the, 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 the coming there to tell him, hey, you shouldn't be driving your, your dirt bike back here. And, and he was already in his mind as he was turning around to face the footsteps, he was trying to come up with an, ex, an excuse. But when he turned around, he said it was actually a Bigfoot creature that w walked right across this narrow dirt road and into the into the woods next to him. Um I mean, and, and he said he was just shocked. He couldn't believe it. He said the, the way when the thing walked, it was walking through like uh, like th like this, you know, smaller trees, but it was bending the trees the way, you know, when a person walks through tall grass and the, and the grass bends, this this Bigfoot was so big and, and uh, uh, it was bending the trees as it walked. And he, and he just said it was unbelievable. I mean, he just, you know, nobody believed him, of course. I mean, uh, nobody in his family believed him. But he, he stands, he stood by that and that was... By that point, it was almost 25, 25 years since it happened. So uh, I believe the guy. I mean, again, he was reluctant to tell the story, and he, you know, it took a lot of convincing him. And and he took me to the site, and he was very convincing. So I, I believe that guy. I believe there, you know, there are people that see this thing, and unfortunately, we just don't have proof. They, these these beings, these Bigfoot creatures, are apparently just they're just so. Uh, they're, with the word here, I'm, I'm, it's failing me. Uh, they're just, you know, I, I just think they're just so uh, good at, at, at hiding themselves. They're masters at it. I mean, they obviously, I mean, uh, if they exist, and I believe that they do, then they they have a, a, a way of masking themselves and keeping themselves hidden from society. It's, it's, they're, they're probably, uh, if, if we were to ever get one, uh, we'd probably find out that they're probably uh, the sm the smartest animal next to human beings, right? I, I would imagine. I mean, they're, they're just very extremely elusive, and they they have an ability to just stay away and ke keep themselves, you know, a mystery. And um, they're pretty much experts at it at this point. It would seem. I mean, a lot of people have been seeing these things over over decades, centuries, actually. I mean, this has been this is something that a lot of people have seen. You know, this goes back to the uh, uh, Native Americans uh, before people even uh, before people from uh, Europe even came here. I mean, they were ex encountering these things. So this has been going on for centuries. So um, unfortunately, again, we just haven't, as far as we know, we, we, you know, nobody's ever captured one. Maybe there was one captured way back in the some centuries ago, and it's just some forgotten forgotten incident now. But uh, I, I do believe that they're there, and there's a lot of other people out there that believe it. I mean, there's, you have you have a lot of guys who believe it so much that they're out there hunting for them all the time. And basically, this is what, what this is: is it's a creature that's on the opposite spectrum of of the other phenomena that I talk about all the time. Is the extraterrestrial phenomenon? It's just a, it's 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 two extremes. You have the one extreme where uh, there there are beings here which are obviously. Uh, of a much higher intelligence than human beings and they're much more advanced. And then you have, uh, 
Bigfoot, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call it, creatures running around, very elusive, but, uh, you know, they're on the other spectrum, the other side of that spectrum. You know, it's but but who's to say that they don't exist? I mean, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the wilderness in the Pacific Northwest, it's just unexplored. There could be areas in there where they obviously could hide and keep themselves secret. Um, and just it, it, there's a lot of sightings. A lot of people have seen these things. I mean, if you go, there's different re- Bigfoot research groups online, and you, there's lots of different reports over the years. I don't, I don't think all these people are lying. So I don't see why 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 would anybody be embarrassed about this just because Joe Rogan uh, is embarrassed now is that the reason I mean that doesn't make any sense to me, uh, uh you know I I don't know I I just of course we don't have one yet but that doesn't mean we're not gonna uh, have evidence of the, one of these beings at some point one of these creatures, uh I mean but if you check out that video I'll leave a link for uh you know the video that I did a week ago on YouTube and and also. In, within that description, you'll also find a link to uh, the uh, History Channel show. The the proof is out there. The episode where that uh, where they talk about that, and a lot of the people in that episode believe that. It, yeah, this is this proves it. I mean, how could it? I, I, there's no way in 1967 that two cowboys were able to come up with a costume like that. This this would be this is better. Like back in 1968, if you, uh, some of you remember, uh, that was the year that uh, Planet of the Apes was released, the original one, and also uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. And in both those films, uh, there was, um, you know, apes. Of course, okay, there was apes in the beginning of 2001, and then uh, throughout the entire movie of Planet of the Apes, uh, uh, there were apes, pe- uh, humans dressed up as apes, and those costumes came nowhere close to what this costume was capable of doing. I I just don't see it. I don't see how these two cowboys could have come up with something better than what Hollywood was doing at the time. You know, there's even been comments made over the years by... Uh, you know, it's different Hollywood makeup artists that say, you know, that's I, I couldn't do that good of a job. You know, you know that it's impossible. It's impossible. Now there was a guy uh, back in 1999 who came out. His name was Bob Hieronymus, who claimed that he wore the suit. That he was uh, that Patterson, you know, was supposed to pay him a thousand dollars back in the '67 to wear this suit, and he was going to film and he'd wear an ape suit. And that he was the actual that he was the actual person wearing the suit in the Patterson Gimlin footage. Now apparently this guy was paid money when he came out and and, and went on TV, you know, different uh, different TV shows and stuff. He was given money for his appearances on and talking about this. So you have to wonder about him. I, I just don't think he was telling the truth. Obviously, I mean, if you look at this enhanced footage, he couldn't have been telling the truth. You know, there was no way that that was a human being dressed up in a suit, in a monkey suit. There is absolutely no way when you look at this. You can see muscle moving in the legs. You can see the bend of the toes. And and, and as you know, you know, in those kind of costumes, you know, you know, you, you would have to wear a shoe. Like when you, you people with those gorilla costumes, they, they you know, the, usually your shoe fits inside the foot, right? So there's no way that the toes would bend so realistically as you would, as you see in, in, in this enhanced version of the Patterson Gimlet footage. Right. And then there's scenes like uh, where, where you can see the uh, the gluteus maximus muscles moving. Right. There again, there's no way that these two cowboys, uh, Patterson and Gimlin, were able to put something like that together. Um, and it's just impossible. I just can't believe I can't believe that that would be possible. In fact, it would be hard for even somebody today to do this, to make it look realistic. I don't see how you could. Now, usually when you see these uh, gorilla suits, the fur is always real long. You know, to cover up the seams and the, and the fakery of it, right? But in this thing, it's there. It's not long. The fur is short, close to the body. In fact, there's some areas where the fur is like worn down. It just doesn't make any sense. I, I believe that the Patterson Gimlin footage is absolutely real, right? And, and so I, I don't see how, why, it, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, there's nothing to think that, well, well, well that, you know, you, if you can't have it both ways. You can't believe in UFOs and Bigfoot. Well, yeah, yes, I could. Yes, I could. I, I don't believe, there's a lot of other things. I don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster, okay? There you go. You know, I don't believe in everything, but I mean, after seeing this Patterson-Gimlin footage enhanced version, I, I'm convinced now. I, I think I'm convinced after seeing this because I just don't see how it could have been faked. And so I highly suggest anybody who hasn't seen this to check it out, um, because I it, it, Bigfoot's real. At some point, there's gonna you know somebody's gonna find one of these hunters out there. You know, somebody is gonna get one of these things somehow. Obviously, they're extremely elusive, right? 
But uh, one day it's going to happen. I sense it. I mean, I, I just can't see how it could go on forever. There'll be some sort of evidence, whether they come upon a pile of bones somehow. Uh, these things are probably in intelligent to the point that they bury their dead to make sure that nobody could find them. Or, you know, who knows how they operate? Um, but, uh, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, and the other thing is, is you, you're out in the middle of the wilderness in the woods in the deep, deep forest somewhere in one of these areas where they're known to uh, inhabit. And you're going to come up, you know, come up near one of these things, right? They're not going to stand there and let you, you know, film them. You know, uh, that Patterson one, the Patterson Gimlin footage, they got lucky. They came, they came right into this, you know, these, these, this wild area where, where humankind usually doesn't set foot. They came right in on their horseback, snuck up on the thing. They saw it's drinking out of, out of a, out of a Creek. The thing got up and start walking away. And that's when Patterson started filming it. But for the most part, if you run into these things, you're going to be scared out of your mind. You know, you'd be just thinking you're running into a wild bear. If you run into a Bigfoot, you're going to be more scared because you're not, you're not going to be able to believe your eyes. And the other, the other aspect of it, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this is Bigfoot. I'm getting the hell out of here. You're not going to, like, want to stand around with your, with your cell phone trying to film this thing. You know, now, if it's from a distance, that's a different thing. But it's just hard. These things are elusive, right? They're, they're just better at be, living in the wild and, and, and operating and moving around in the, in the wilds than a human being would be. And that's why they're just so hard to, to, to get proof. You know, it's hard, so hard to prove that they exist. You know, someday, somehow, I believe it will happen. But to this point, I mean, wow, you know. But again, I really, really can't ex express, uh, uh, you know, you, know how, you should need to check out that footage and you'll see what I'm talking about because it's highly, very, extremely interesting.